Okay, so here I am testing out my QDSLR dashboard. I'm working it through the TP-Link MR3040. This is a small portable battery powered router. You can get it on Amazon for about $30. B&H sells it for about $31. Uh, I like both places, so pick it and get it wherever you want. Uh, I talked to my blog post yesterday, and I'll put the link down, down here somewhere. Um, that you can flash this router with a custom open WRT firmware that allows it to connect and act as a kind of like a wireless router for uh, compatible DSLR cameras, which is what I'm doing right now. Once you get this installed and connected to the Wi-Fi signal that your TP-Link is putting out, you can load the QDSLR dashboard app in the App Store. It is a universal app. It runs on both iPhone and iPad. It costs $10. Through QDSLR Dashboard's website, there are clients you can get for Android, for Windows, and for Mac. I have tried all three, uh, Mac, excuse me, three out of the four. I've tried Mac, I've tried Android, and I've tried iOS. They all work very well. Um, you can see you can control everything here. Your, you can control ISO, you can control your white balance, you can control your shutter speed. You may take pictures and even start video and that's what I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna take a nice little picture by pressing the button, and it captured a nice picture. I'm actually recording my iPad screen right now, so I'll be able to show that in my video as well. It goes through and it loads a preview afterwards. This takes a little while, I'm shooting in RAW, and it will bring up a preview of my image, which will probably be terrible because, well, I didn't really do all that much with it. There it goes. So, nice little picture of me. But again, you can also, tell it to start video. And so now I'm actually taking video on or through my DSLR uh, via the QDSLR app. Uh, I am, you know, can start and stop. I can actually rechange the focus point. So say I want to focus over over here on the window and I can change the autofocus. It's a little slow on this lens. If I put my prime lens on, it would be a lot faster. Uh, I can bring myself back into focus then. Hi, nice to meet, nice to meet you. Um, and it's actually very nice. I'm going to be using this to do things like bracketed photography, HDR, uh, like sunsets and landscapes, things where there's a, a lot of shadow and a lot of light areas. You can also do it for macro shots. You can do it uh, to keep an entire area in focus on something that you really want to uh, get a close-up of. Um, I'm thinking of things like book covers and things like that. One of the ways that I'll be using it is if someone is uh, speaking at a special event that I have to be covering for either ABCNJ or for Central Baptist Church, I can actually set my camera up on a tripod, point it at the podium, and I can walk anywhere in the room as long as I can reach the signal. I can control it and I can sit there and I can tap or tap it and take my pictures anytime that I want. Uh, and I think that really is pretty fantastic. So, have a great day. I'll talk to you later.